Interplay was a fantastic place to work when we first started, and it was still pretty good when we left. It's just we kind of saw the writing on the wall. And I had a feeling that Obsidian wanted to do a new vegas -y thing again. After we did Pillars, we felt like we could do something original on our own. Basically, it was a first-person RPG, you know, Fallout New Vegas kind of feel, I think was, was the main thing. Fallout meets Firefly. We knew, like, spaceships would take the supplies to the planets. How would they then build their landscape? And it was always an echo of the Old West. Yeah, with Pillars and without, without a World, there's definitely been a push to have a specialized narrative team. I did blockouts for an entire planet that was cut from before the game released, so there's probably about six months of work that I did that didn't actually release with the game. We don't want it too dark. Yeah, and not too silly. Because the game shouldn't make you sad. It's, you know, everyone wants this NPC to be a sassy jackass. You know, and it's like, okay, that's funny a few times, but like eventually you have to find something different. It's sort of this kind of absurd chord that it's striking where it's just like, I can't believe how ridiculous this whole thing is, right? And then there's also kind of a serious undertone where it's like, wow, the reality of this thing is actually pretty harsh. We came up with Rick. I mean, Phineas, uh, very quickly, because we were watching Rick and Morty at the time. Everything else in this game is like, let's go be a mercenary, let's go shoot up some bored thugs, you know, let's go shake some people down for money. And here's like, let me be a wingman to my best friend, you know, help her out a little bit. That's, uh, it feels good, you know. It's one of those moments that just genuinely feel good. Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? 